Use this four-play mini scheme to go ahead and push the ball down the field and get first downs. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. It's really the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I want to talk about um, a, a Patreon request I had. Uh, one of my subscribers, Patreon member, actually put a request in uh, for me to build out uh, some more passing oriented type playbooks. Uh, he does use Cardinals as one of his playbooks, and this is going to be the playbook I'm going to be jumping into uh, over the next few weeks or so with gameplay. Now, we're going to take a look at the Cardinals' Gun Wide Trips Week as one of our, great, uh, our base formations, uh, and a lot of these plays are really only in the Cardinals' playbook, so I know it's a very popular play. Uh, Playbook uh, online at Madden. And we're going to be taking a look at uh, drag as one of our base audibles. We're also going to be looking at verticals and corner strike. Um, we're just going to leave our base um, run audible, which is going to be the outside zone. So we're going to replace stick, and the other play we're going to replace is uh, the play action post shot. Now the reason why I want to use the Y trips weak formation is that there's another formation which is the Y off trio, which is just a slight alterization as far as the way uh, this formation works. And I can quickly audible into one of the either one of these formations and add depth to my playbook. So I can go from um, calling uh, five plays to to basically nine plays, which is going to add a lot of scheme. So we're going to break just break down the, the basic generic plays right now out of the gun uh, Y trips weak. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure we have Y drag is our audible. Uh, that's going to be one of our hot audibles for the um, square. And then the other audible we're going to go ahead and take out, we're going to get rid of that play action post cross shot uh, because we're going to be using that uh, as another another play and the gun Y off trio. Uh, and we're going to be uh, supplementing it with uh, corner strike, which is a phenomenal play. Corner strike is one of the better plays in the game, and you can use the attack either side of the field against your opponent with it. Now, um, you know, uh, going against man blitzes, uh, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the Y uh, drag. This is a mesh cop, uh, concept underneath, and uh, what I like to do too is I also go ahead, I like to go ahead and take Grisham, uh, Grisham and actually go ahead and put him on um, an out, uh, a little uh, flat route. Uh, so really what we're going to be looking for is a high-low uh, with that. Now, when you read um, the Y drag, in this scheme, uh, basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking at the tight end and making your reads from there on what direction you want to go. So in the wide drag, we're going to go and put him in a flat route and watch if a defender actually falls out to him. If he doesn't, we're just going to go and pop that really quick. Now the safety is actually coming down and actually manned him up, uh, but if you got uh, if you got um, a, a broken tackle right there, it actually could have went real far. Another play is this corner route uh, by your uh, your best wide receiver, so that's another area of field that you can hit. Uh, and then uh, uh, finally, you've got uh, also you've got basically the the one route, which is going to be the deep end on the back end side. So hopefully we can go ahead and audible into this. So you got the deep end on the back side, where you can get yourself in trouble with the deep end route is if you, if you wait too long and for a buzz to do that. So, but you can hit your opponent pretty much in different areas of the field uh, with this. If you leave the mesh concept in there, uh, you can obviously go ahead with the running back on the back end side, and that can actually blow your opponent up too. So, uh, if you do decide, if you got a guy that's using a lot of man coverages, now against uh, man coverages, uh, when you go and jump into the next uh, play, which is going to be for verticals, I like to run four verticals at this particular route. So I basically take my slot receiver, which is my number one receiver uh, Fitzgerald, and I put him in a drag route. I'm going to look high low. The drag route is going to be usually one of the areas I'm going to go to first. So, uh, so we're going to drag up the slot receiver. And wait for that to cro cross over. We've also got the, the tight end route right there. So that was uh, basically an engage eight man blitz. So you're probably not going to see that a lot online. Uh, but uh, it really it's just looking for the mesh concept underneath crossing route. This is going to be the area of the field that you're going to go to. You should get a little time uh, with the running back. The running back should block for you. If not, uh, he's going to basically get um, 
some time. So this is going to be uh, one of those little plays right here. So we could, we could dump it out to the running back. And once again, it's still s pretty much similar as is the wide drag with the mesh concept. Play that you're going to be using a lot uh, is going to be corner strike, and it's really good against uh, man uh, blitzers. Uh, you can run this play two different ways. Uh, you can go ahead and block uh, your wide receivers and streak up your tight end and drag up your backside receiver, uh, Kirk, and they'll be attacking our opponent off to the right-hand side and have an over-the-middle man release. Or what we could do is we actually can go ahead and block our tight end and drag up Nelson to the back end side and we, we can attack our opponent off to the left hand side so that'll actually give you an opportunity to go and attack your opponent so right there the defender actually makes a massive superman dive they're going to stop that play shouldn't be a realistic thing to happen in Madden but let's just go and see this once again the, the defender's out of position and I've got myself a house play practically with this running back right here and also you've got the drag route of the backhand side and then you have the deep in route that's going to be a route that you're going to be able to get really good big completions from with it. Now what if we go ahead and run this play the opposite direction again man, man blitzes. Once again we're going to block uh, our running back, drag up Kirk. Um, the circle route takes a little bit longer to develop but this deep in route is going to be a play that you're really going to attack your opponent with uh, and get uh, you can go house with it the other direction too. So. Uh, this is a play that you definitely want to go and throw in your your, your, your uh, scheme. Um, drag around on the back inside will give you a nice, nice easy completion against, uh, against heavy man blitzes. Uh, that clear out route uh, with uh, with the tight end is just a clear out route, so that's not going to be an error that you want to go against uh, corner strike. Uh, you, you and you can look for the circle route right of the back inside, but it takes a long time. As you can see, I can probably just barely get that off, but the pressure comes in. It takes a long time to develop, so it's just better to go ahead and check down uh, to those other routes. So let's go ahead and take a look at against cover two and how you can attack your opponent with cover two with this game. Now against cover two, uh, this wide drag play is going to be your money play right here. Uh, and once again, we're going to try to set it up as we normally do. So we're going to take our, our, our tight end and actually put him in a drag route. Uh, what's cool about this play is this route right here. This is going to be a big play opportunity. As you can see, the defender doesn't fall back into that zone. And he actually can throw that a little bit early because there's so much action off of the right-hand side with that, that, that little out route that you can find a seam before the, uh, before the yellow zone is at. So that's what's really cool about it. And if your opponent really starts uh, compensating for that route uh, against cover two, uh, basically you can go ahead and dump things down, uh, st uh, down to the corner route uh, and force him to defend that. So that's an area of the field that you can actually go in uh, and to uh, force your opponent to defend. So let's just go ahead and see the corner route down here. You got the little backside right there and actually a little block shed with the, with the CPM. Now I'm playing all Madden so these are the type of things that are going to actually happen when you're playing this game uh, in the practice and I just don't want to have to spend too much time editing but uh, you can check down you've got that deep uh, that deep uh, post route on the back and side. Now verticals once again we're going to run verticals the same way same concept. Drag underneath I've got a, a, one of the verticals on the back side and this is going to be an area of the field that you can attack too. So you can see right there, the window was there. The ball was actually misthrown by this rookie quarterback. Uh, but uh, you can see that against cover two, this is going to be one of those better plays that you can attack him. So let's see if we can hold on to the ball. So hopefully get some good blocks here. Uh, and actually go ahead and look for the window. And definitely when you're playing a game uh, like Mutt, uh, you're going to be able to get those windows and actually complete the ball right there in the middle. What about corner strike? Well, once again, corner strike, we're going to run this two different ways. Let's go ahead and go attack off to the right-hand side. Got the little dragging route that you're going to go and attack down against your opponent. And against also with cover two, you can go ahead and throw that seam route. Uh, so he's going to have to use that seam route if you actually pop that really quick. Uh, what about the back side of this? So working the backside here, are we going to block our tight end to give ourselves a little bit more time? You've got the running back route that you can go jump, dump that down to. You got the high low on the back end side, so if it's hard flat, block that tight end, drag up your your backside receiver Nelson. Look to the flat with the running back. Nobody falls. You've also got this crosser right here, which should open up for you. So this will allow you to go and tag both sides of the field against your opponent against cover two. What about cover three? Well, once again, uh, if you want to go and attack the corner, you're going to go ahead and drop it down. Uh, what's going to happen with this in your play is that you're going to be able to get an opportunity to hit a corner route if, if the defender actually bites down uh, to that flat route off to the right-hand side. So that's what's actually kind of cool about this. Is this will really open up, up some big play opportunities down in the sidelines. You can't run the play stock 
uh, for just a quick hike. And really what you want to do is look for this deep crosser on the back and side. You'll get a, a really good opportunity to go and get you get your opponent for some big yards up the middle of the field against cover three. Uh, but I would try to stay uh, with uh, using the flat concept, corner concept on the back end side because uh, you always can check it down to the running back in case he actually manually comes out there in that area. For four verticals, it's still going to be the same look. We're going to drag up our, our slot receiver, look for the high-low. Running back is going to be an area that you want to drop down to, so he's going to have to be conscious of that running back the entire uh, entire time he's playing against this scheme. So once again, we're going to run this. Uh, we're going to just, uh, drag up our slot receiver and just pop it down to him. We want to go and attack that flat off the left-hand side because that's going to be another area that we need him to defend. And a lot of times that deep crossing route by the tight end will get separation and you'll be able to get a nice big completion down in the middle of the field if your tight end holds on to the ball. So let's see if we can go ahead and pop that tight end route again. There you go. There you go. Hold on to it. Thank you. Corner strike. Um, let's go ahead and go off to the left. We're going to block uh, at max protect, streak up our tight end, and put Kirk um, on a uh, drag route. To look for the C route on the back and side. We've also got this air route just getting completely cleared out because the combination of those, those uh, verticals concept uh, with corner strikes. So if you take a look at Fitz Fitzgerald's doing a vertical, you got uh, Nelson doing a kind of a C route vertical, uh, a blocking release. You got that drag uh, with with Kirk, so that's going to open things up for you. So you can actually go ahead and ch have that, attack that drag route at the back inside. So hopefully my line can hold its blocks because it's definitely not doing this. And then this is against a really bad defense to begin with. Uh, C route also can be an opportunity for you to get a big play right there, even though the defender actually took a uh, took a turn out to that play. So uh, let's take a look at this at the other other going the other way. So once again, we're going to block our tight end. Put levels with Nelson dragging him up. Look to Johnson in the flat, and the C route on the back inside will get separation if the defender falls down to the flat. So, it's just a very versatile play uh, that you can run uh, two different ways against what type of defense he's doing. So, right here, uh, you can go ahead and attack that flat uh, and just force your opponent to actually go ahead and, and, and try to take away uh, those those reads underneath. Got that set up and crossing uh, play right here is, is something you can wait to uh, if you're attacking your opponent off the left hand side. Now what if your opponent is using cover four? Well, uh, once again, same concept. We're going to go ahead and drag up Grisham and a lot of times what's going to happen is no one's going to play that flat route by, by Grisham. So if you got a guy that runs cover six or basically um, a, uh, a cover four type shell against you, uh, he should get pretty good separation. If he doesn't, same reads. You look to that corner route on the back hand side. And you also have the check down with the running back, which should get pretty good separation. And he should be naked on the back end side. So it's just another check down that you can go ahead and use against your opponent. Four verticals against um, basically cover four. Drag up that slot receiver. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop it down. Once again, we just want to go ahead and make our opponent defend that. So once again, cover four, we're going to drag up that, that uh, slot receiver. And we're going to look to him. Uh, especially if you got any kind of matching concepts with that slot receiver. Um, Fitzgerald's a slow um, wide receiver, so he's he's generally it's beating people just because of the coverage. But you got the running back route that you can attack. Uh, you've also got uh, the uh, crossing route by the tight end that you can go and attack too. So hopefully we won't get any kind of block sheds against uh, against the CPU here. We're blocking four, um, and there you go. You're gonna get a nice little big completion by the by the tight end. It actually drops the ball right there. What about counter strike? Uh, we'll get a block. We're going to attack our opponent off to the right hand side. So once again, this is going to be the setup they're going to give our look to our opponent. C route is going to be an area that you can look to. You've also got this dragging route too that you're going to be able to go ahead and complete and get a nice big completion against. Uh, and it's just going to uh, force your opponent to go ahead and defend that. So let's just go ahead and run this one more time. Let's see if we can get the, the Nelson route, which is going to be a C route. You should get pretty good separation. Uh, against against the CPU, but the, the, it looks like the defensive back played that ball perfectly. Now Fitzgerald's route uh, is a really good route uh, if your opponent is not ready for it. Uh, but actually, there was a bunch of guys in the in the area, so I'm just going to go drop it down to that crossing route and take my yak. My yak. I'm going to go ahead and block our tight end and drag up Nelson. 
and then just you can pop it down to the running back, especially if you've got an athletic running back like that, uh, to the corner uh, if, if the defender doesn't uh, get in, in time there. So let's just go ahead and drag that guy up. So this defender actually falls in the back end side. You've got the dragger on the back end side that you can attack. Um, and just force your opponent to go and attack that left or, or to defend that left side of the of the field. And let's see if we can get Kirk on the C route. I haven't had really good success with this quarterback. Let's see if we can get it. So he's on the sideline right there. He's, he's not able to keep his, the ball in there, but that is an area of the field that uh, you can attack your opponent with uh, with a good wide receiver, especially if you're playing mutt. Let's see if we can try this once again and get that ball in there. So uh, just, uh, I probably need to go ahead and, and take this uh, ball. And we're just gonna go ahead and move it, give ourselves a little bit more real estate by playing that left hash. And this should go ahead and give us an opportunity to go ahead and catch that ball and bounce with the quarterback just keeps spraying it. So guys, uh, this is uh, basically part one of a two-part scheme that we're going to be rolling um, uh, with the Cardinals playbook. Um, if you do like these type of breakdowns, you like how, um, uh, if you want to see me actually go and run this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you smash that like button if these are the type of uh, breakdowns that you, that you guys do like. So once again, my subscribers, thanks for your support, guys. Until next time.